Let's talk about using seaweed cream for Colorado agriculture, especially our experience with alfalfa and with small grains. Bioflora developed this product for their vegetable and orchard customers as a root dip and a drench, a drench huh, for transplanting and rooting, and also for maximizing and synchronizing flowering and fruit set for vegetable and fruit crops. In Colorado, we're using it to boost root development, especially when applied to alfalfa in the fall. And we are improving the protein content on dryland wheat up in Phillips County by applying before early milk stage. Seaweed cream is a cold processed homogenized kelp, Ascophyllum nodosum, which is rich in macronutrients, trace elements, cytokinins, and betates. The biological balance of this unique product allows for easy transmission into the plant's metabolic sites, maximizing plant growth and root zone development. Seaweed cream has over 17 common amino acids that are essential for increasing plant metabolism of minor elements in the soil, such as zinc, manganese, iron, boron, copper, cobalt, and molybdenum. Components of seaweed. Plant, uh, it, it's important. Um, plant growth stimulants are like giving your crop steroids. Uh, oxins, cytokines, and gibberellins are powerful stimulants, as are the various sugars, carbs, amino acids, and trace elements. Naturally occurring gibberellic acids help break dormancy and get the seed germinated in the plant off to a quicker start. Seaweed cream has lots of trace elements and trace minerals that are in a plant available form because these elements are derived from plants. You've no doubt see, uh, seen a need for supplemental boron, iron, manganese, and zinc, maybe some of the others that are listed here. Uh, this, this is a good product to use if, if you do see that. Some of the benefits of seaweed, since our, our extraction process for producing our seaweed cream this process does not include harsh chemicals that others use. Uh, and our seaweed cream has a much higher level of plant growth hormones. These are all important factors in, in pushing the plant's metabolic processes. It's a very effective root dip for new plantings and transplantings, and it helps the fruit protect itself from bruising, softening, and rotting. It was developed, again, primarily as a treatment in the growing of fruits and vegetables because it works so well in developing the roots in early growth stage and it helps in flowering and fruit set and shelf life of the crop. Another benefit is that plants treated with seaweed tend to repel insects and pathogens much better than non-treated crops, things like scabs, mildew, and even sucking insects. Seaweed versus botrytis, from the lab point of view, you can see how well it inhibits the spread of botrytis, a pathogen that affects a number of types of plants. Plus, I, I love these pictures. Uh, graphically shows how, how well it inhibits the spread of, of, of so many pathogens. Again, in transplanting, seaweed's a great treatment for seeds and shoots. And then again, as an aid, for fruit set and flowering. These pictures are orchard crops, but seaweed works well on our agronomic crops as well. Apply early in the spring to push germination and early root developments. And we're seeing an exciting boost in relative food value of alfalfa, and uh, especially when applied in the fall, so it's the, the alfalfa gets off to an earlier start. Uh, and we're even seeing a protein content boost in wheat, uh, as well as a noticeable increase in yield. Timing can be a little tricky for boosting fruit set and protein. So let us know uh, how we can help you so we catch it right for you and for your specific crop and situation. Again, think of it as using steroids to get your crops at maximum capacity. Your farmers will thank you at harvest time.
For more information on how to get and use this amazing product, contact Scott Anderson at 303-995-3541 or contact your favorite local ag supplier. Thank you.